Well, the community of Pacoima celebrated the opening of its first permanent art space in decades with a Mexican tradition dating back centuries. Gil Reyes reports. The imagery is familiar. Skulls and skeletons, photographs of the dearly departed. And then we put out sweet bread, water, drinks or fruit um, so that they can come in the night and they can enjoy what we've set out for them. Gabby Vignon is one of 40 local artists who set up altars as tributes on Pacoima's Dia de los Muertos celebration. The two-day festival in November honoring the dead mixes ancient Aztec mythology with Catholicism of conquering Spaniards. This Mexican tradition dates back centuries, but in mostly Latino Pacoima, there's something new this year a focus on tourism from an all-new outdoor space. Well, what's so great about arts and culture is that they can serve as economic drivers for our community. It brings local cultural tourism. And what's new for this year is that we've um, initiated a brand new open air museum, El Museo Al Aire Libre. And we're celebrating the arts, not just on Dia de los Muertos weekend, but all year long. It's a gallery. Uh, Pacoima, last gallery they had in Pacoima was in the 70s and it disappeared. Now we're ha we have a new gallery and a lot of local artists are very excited to actually be able to show in their own backyard. With plans for different themes at the open air museum throughout the year. And while you're here, Pacoima Councilman Felipe Fuentes recommends grabbing a bite at the new Cafe O Muerto coffee shop at Pacoima City Hall. We're using locally sourced food stock for a juice bar. We're using brand new coffee operators in our city facility. And it's an opportunity for people to celebrate one another and be in communion in a beautiful, comfortable, inexpensive place. And do it all year long. In Pacoima, Gil Reyes for LA This Week. Adding to Pacoima's artsy renaissance, 12 bus benches near Pacoima City Hall are adorned with photographs depicting life in the community.